Okay, so I'm here for a quick tutorial. Well, it might not actually be that quick, but I'm gonna try to do, do it as quickly as I can. This is a tutorial to show you how I personally quickly translate localization um, translations for if you want to implement other languages in your game. So uh, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a string table I'll name this tutorial. And if you've never used string tables before, I'll show you real quickly what they look like. And uh, basically, you enter a key. So I'll enter one, and then I can just enter some kind of text here. So I'll say, this is the tutorial for local for trans. Lading quickly and uh, basically um, you enter your key and that key can be used for other functionality within your game um, blueprint logic but we're not going to get into that right now I'm just trying to show you how I quickly um, did this so um, I'm going to fast forward and just enter a bunch of uh, values here well, at least 10 but keep in mind that this technique could be used for you know a lot more all right so be right back okay so we're back and I just wrote some random text um, for about 10 entries but keep in mind you could do a lot more than that for this and translate them all at the same time stuff so I'm gonna export it to a CSV and I'll show you why in a minute here. I'm gonna name the CSV tutorial CSV. I'll just put that in a random place. Okay, so that's exported. Now let's find it here, found it, and open it. So now you would have a long list of uh, strings and now we're just going to minimize this for just a short moment. And um, if you go to Window and Localization Dashboard, this is where you can find all the localization stuff. So if I go into there, oh, it's already open. What you'll do is, I'm sure some of you have watched other tutorials, but the way the localization works is you gather it from a file path, wildcard. So what I'm going to do is find the location which is this folder in my project where I created the string table so then you'll scroll down here and I'm just gonna go ahead and make English my native language because you need to have a native language that it reverts to if it can't translate something so now that I have that I'm gonna gather the text this roll through it gathered it. it says I got a 60 word count from the 10 strings I entered in the string table which it seems to have found and translated from English to English just fine so now you go back to the localization dashboard and select a language that you want um, or as they call it a new culture that you want so I'm just gonna pick Japanese um, and I'm going to gather the text again so that that link culture can gather the same text now these should all be in the untranslated section here which they are and uh, now we are going to export this to a portable object which is this right here and I'm gonna do that I'll name it tutorial.po we export that say okay then I'm gonna show you a site Um, which is this that I've bookmarked 
I will leave a link to this in the uh, description of this video. So what you want to do is go over here to Pode CSV. I'll wait for this ad to get out of my face. So Pode CSV, and then we're going to find the CSV that we just are the .po that we just created tutorial.po and we're going to convert to the CSV and download it now what I'm going to do is go back into our Excel file for the uh, the uh, original English text that we made and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to open Word or whatever document thing you're using and I'm going to paste it in there there we go oh, it seems like I have it's doing that quick so I didn't use the correct punctuation and everything extra spaces but it's all good so now we um, go to file and we're going to save this and I'll save it as tutorial docx save that I'm going to minimize that and what I'm going to do is close this because I've already copied the text out of it. We don't need it anymore. I will not save. And then I'm going to find the .po file that we converted to the CSV. So on my downloads, here it is. And if I open that with Excel, it has all the English and basically what we will do now is this B column this is where the translations go so whatever you're translating this is where you're gonna paste it and so I'm gonna go to Word um, I mean not word Google Translate because that's what we'll be using to translate it I'll go to the official page for that because in here you can upload a document so I'm gonna find that doc.x file that I made right here tutorial docx and then I'm gonna select the language I want which is Japanese I'm gonna translate that I'm going to download the translation and I'm going to show that in folder and find it. I'm going to open it. And there is all of our translations for each. So I'm going to copy this. And this is a kind of an important part here. When you paste in to B, I do paste special. And if you want it to do other languages good right select unicode text here and hit ok so there we go our translations are in the b column now so what i'll do is i'll save this i'm going to save it as tutorial translated i'm going to do it as a csv I think it's actually better to do, if I remember right, and I could be wrong, you want to do CSV UTF-8. But I could be wrong on that. That's something I can't really remember quite perfectly. But anyway, I'm going to browse to where I want to save that. Save it. Now... We go back into that same website that we that I will su supply the link for, and now we go to CSV to PO. So what we're going to do is go backwards and upload the CSV that we just created, the tutorial translated, 
and we're going to convert that back to a portable object. And we're going to download that. Now back in Unreal, <coughs> we will import the portable object. Let that go. And there are all of our translations for each of the strings from the string table. So it says change on import. That's nothing to worry about. What you'll do is go back to the localization dashboard. You'll hit um, count words here. That'll update it. We go in here. That's out. Go back in. Um, some of them will show up in this needs review section, and that basically just means that uh, I don't really know what that means. If it means that the translations aren't perfect from the machine learning of Google Translate, but I usually just hit has been reviewed and save. Go back. Go back in. Now they should all be translated. I'll hit count words again. And there you go. You have a full 60 word count of English and Japanese, both translated. And you can use that to implement localization in your game. So that's it for this tutorial. 